in the league, number 32 against the pass. And part of the reason they were number one against the run, the struggles they had slowing people down through the air. So people threw it and threw it and threw it and had great success. And a team that should have been in the playoffs last year somehow managed to miss it. Well, the Titans ready to take over on offense for the first time. And it is the now 35-year-old Ryan Tannehill who leads him out in his 12th NFL campaign. The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Tannehill. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. On first and ten, Tannehill. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Third down, the Colts beefing up the secondary. Six defensive backs in the game. Play action, it's Tannehill. Trying to lay one up deep. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on the punt. Back deep for the Colts, Isaiah McKenzie. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So here come the Colts to take over for the first time and leading the way as a number four pick in the draft out of Florida. Here's Anthony Richardson. The moment Anthony Richardson's name was announced as the fourth pick in the 2023 draft, it changed the landscape and probably our viewing habits with the NFL. He is must-see viewing. Tremendous out. Well, the defense loses him. It's complete. Look at the big fella go. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Kylan Branson, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Colts are on the board first here this afternoon. Boy, just zero hesitation from the rookie passer there, partner. He is coming out firing in this opening quarter. And all the talk leading into this game was that pass rush talking about challenging this guy, getting into his grill, getting into his space. And how about him? Like this first year in the NFL, they don't see any fear in him at all. How about that big-time throw right out of the gate? And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Here's Tannehill now on second down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I can assure you, setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense. And a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. To throw is Tannehill. Caught left side, Hopkins. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. 
Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the security point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. A short throw taken in by a Conquero. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to make it fourth down. They snap it to Tannehill. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to pick up the Titans' first down as they'll wind up getting seven there on fourth and three. Tannehill looking for the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Here's Tannehill. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Back to throw, Tannehill. That pass taken in by Burks. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Folks, kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal. And Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. One man to beat. And he will score. Touchdown, Colts. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll start with a give to Henry. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down, they go again with Henry. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, Titans gain of 12. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching really well. I use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. On second down, here's Henry. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. This offense so far on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. And here's a give to Spears. Oh, look at the juke. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. Play, play. 
Inside handoff, Henry. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Hand off to Spears. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. They'll come up second and seven. Try the air now with Tannehill. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Here's Tannehill. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he's brought down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Josh Wiley there to make the grab. And the Titans have cut it back within a score. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that makes it a 14-10 ball game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And they work this well up field across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. To the sideline and incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Throwing again, it's Richardson on second down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. I have a few questions about that throw because to me, there just wasn't a lot there. I thought he tried to do a little bit too much, almost tried to will a receiver open when there was no chance he was going to be. Nice job by the linebacker being all over that one and knocking it away. The Titans going to go back on offense here late in this first half. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Okay, let's, let's decide here. He was open, right? Not extraordinarily open, but open enough that if you're an NFL quarterback, yeah. you got to make that throw, right? Yeah. That's got to be complete. Nine times out of ten, that's a completed pass. Yeah, uh, he missed that one and missed it in a big way. Another 
throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. But they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one. Ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws hasn't been really enough. They're trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll kick it away for the second time. To return is McKenzie. So we hit halftime here in Indianapolis with the Colts on top. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. What a first half we saw from the number four overall pick back in April, Anthony Richardson. He had a touchdown pass in that first half, helping his guys to a halftime advantage. Final adjustments taking place in both teams' locker rooms. We're closing in on the second half. And to bring it your way, let's go back up to Indianapolis and rejoin Brandon and Charles. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. There, Richardson back to throw it. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. There he goes, right side. Michael Pittman, and he's going to get this down inside the five before he's out of bounds. A big play there catch and run 78 yards after the big play a chance to finish now on first and goal now Richardson to the goal line but it's incomplete down this close to the goal line first down surprised that wasn't a run I am and you know I'm old school I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it from three yards out. And the Colts take the opening kickoff in the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because... You don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Tannehill's throw here into the hands of Moore. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First target, first catch, and a first down. Off play action, Tannehill. That's caught by his tight end, Trevon Wesco. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. They'll try the right side with Henry. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Now Tannehill. Rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. 
disrupted. Picked up by Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. Now he dumps this off over the middle. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now the NFL's leading rusher in 2021, Jonathan Taylor. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Richardson out of the shotgun. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it. Not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball. And he doesn't concentrate on himself. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride, another first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Now, before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Come on, come on. On third down, here's Taylor. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. And motion left goes a tight end. Going for it on fourth, here's Richardson. And he's got his target, it's caught for a Colts touchdown. Mo Alley Cox from three yards out. And the Colts have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. 
But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Now it's Tannehill. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. From the 46, here's the second and five. Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Tannehill. Short throw taken in by Conquo. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. To throw is Tannehill. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced. And I think the ball's out, and the Colts pick it up. And I don't know that that fumble's going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Richardson looking to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead, just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well, because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, falls incomplete. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Let's go. Off the option, here's Taylor. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you, and instinctively you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 58 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. First and 10, Taylor now. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. We've seen that before. Jeffrey Simmons making a stop behind the line. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. One yard officially on the pickup, and it'll leave him with a third and 11. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On third down, here's Richardson. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. 
picked by Kevin Byard. And the Titans are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Third and long that time. He was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him. And what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long. Got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now Tannehill. His throw incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. That's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops from one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers. Heck, they've been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10 at their own 42. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And quickly, they get to the line. Second down, another run with Taylor. Room here to run. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. That good for 19 at a first down. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did.